Hello everyone and welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie the crystal nymph, which is another mayfly pattern. And here in the vise I have a H360BL and this is this check nymph pupa hook. It works well with beads and to do all kinds of different nymphs on. I've also been tying these flies on more like terrestrial hooks or these long curved shank hooks. Works really well as well. So before starting this fly off I will quickly go through all the materials that we need. So here a um, nymph hook, the bead is a brass bead, this one is 2.8 millimeters. For the tail I'm going to use some pheasant tail, this one has been dyed in yellow. For the body I'm going to use two materials, the first one is the underbody of some unimiler, this one is a tinsel holographic golden in size 14, which is a medium size. And then over this I'm going to put down some body quill, this one is from Hands, and it's this slightly light brown olive color. Then to rib the fly I'm going to use some ultra wire, this one is in the size small and brown, makes a really natural looking fly. For the thorax cover, to add a little bit of flash, I'm going to use some pearl tinsel. This one is in the size medium. And for the thorax cover, I'm going to use some Swiss straw. This one is in brown. To coat the body and to build up the thorax cover, I'm going to use some UV resin. This one is the Diamond Fine Flex from Deer Creek. And this works really well. And for the thorax, I'm going to use my dubbing mix. This one is the Olive Flashback Mix. And this is this dark olive brown with green highlights and for the legs you could go with different kinds of materials but here I'm using some crystal flash in pearl makes for really nice small legs on these quite small sizes and to secure the bead I'm going to use some lead free wire this one is the point oh fifteen and I'm going to start with this and putting down about four turns or so maybe five and I'm going to break the end off close then I'm going to use a little bit of super glue just to secure this a tiny drop and then push this up inside the bead and this is going to lock everything in place so you won't have the bead sliding around and also this will help build up the slightly thicker thorax on the fly so there we go, and just bend down the other tag. For the thread, I'm going to use some GSP, this one is from Benecki, and is I think uh, 50 denier and in white. So I'm going to start right behind the wire, putting down a little bit of thread before cutting off the tag, and then I'm going to go down a little bit down the band, we want a nice curve on this fly. And I'm going to take my tailing material, which is this pheasant tail. I'm going to take five, six fibers, take them 90 degrees from the stem, and then this is going to align the tips. And I'm going to tie these in slightly longer than half the body. I like these to be a little bit longer so it gives a nice profile and a little bit of just nice proportions on this fly. Then take this up right to the wire and then you can just break these pheasant tails off. I'm going to take down the thread to about the half point of the body and here I'm going to first tie in this body quill. I'm going to take about 25 centimeters or so and cut this away from the spool. You could also put this on a bobbin and use it that way. Here I'm going to fold this in two and then I'm going to fold it around the thread and tie it down the whole way. Right down to the tails and for now we can leave it in the material clip. Then on the way up I'm going to tie in 
the golden mm, tinsel and this one is in this holographic and golden you will not really see much of it as we're going to cover this with both the body quill and the wire but it's going to give a nice shine through underneath this nice golden is going to shine through the other materials as this body quill is really translucent as you can see and when we coat it with the UV resin it's going to make this really pop and here for the body you could use different colors to imitate different kinds of bugs and here I'm going to tie in the wire or ribbing material this one is size small in brown I'm going to tie this the whole way right up to the lead free wire and this is going to make a nice smooth underbody and I'm going to take this down almost all the way down just leave like a millimeter or so hanging out here at the back and this is going to help me get this started right and also just make this a little bit more durable so I'm going to do one turn and then in front and I'm going to take up first this tinsel touching turns or slightly overlapping ones hold the way up to the thread and then tie this off a few heavy turns then cut this away and then I'm going to grab these four strands of body quill and I'm going to do one turn behind and then start taking this up in front of the wire and here I'm also going to do slightly overlapping turns to build up a slight taper to the fly but we don't want this body to be too thick we want this to be quite slim of a profile and here make sure you don't let go of any of these little quills so a few turns then cut these away as well then I'm going to rib the fly with this wire and here we want open turns the whole way up and here you can space these out a little bit more a little bit less depends on your preference I want these to be quite close together then tie this off right up near the bead bend and break this away then I'm going to go back and before doing anything else I'm going to coat the fly with some UV resin here I'm using this diamond fine flex has a little bit of bounce to it so it won't chip as easily and I will just use a dubby needle or a bodkin to spread this around you don't need much on this one just want a thin coat all over this material this is going to secure everything and make a really nice looking body and then zap it with the UV torch and this is going to set really nicely and here about 15 seconds or so should be enough then I'm taking some of this tinsel, the pearl tinsel in medium and I'm going to tie this in right on top this is going to make a, a little flashback on the fly so make sure that this is really centered then I'm going to take the swiss straw and when you get this out of the package it's bundled like this but a whole lot thicker so what I do is I unfold it and then cut it into four pieces and this was a fourth and then I just bundle it together or fold it a little bit so it's not too wide and I'm going to tie this in on top as well make sure that this folds over nicely then I'm taking my dark olive green dubby mix and I'm just going to dub a little bit onto the thread here you don't have to be 
too precise. We just want to dub a little dubbing or a little thorax. There we go. And park your thread right in the middle. And now I'm taking some of this crystal flash, and this is in the color pearl. I'm going to bind it down first on my side, right in the middle. We'll make this little V like this. Then you can cut off one end, and I'm going to take this little piece and put it on the other side. And make sure that these are in the middle. There we go. And then we can cut these to length. I want the back ones to be just slightly longer than the front ones. And I'm going to take a little bit more of this dubbing and I'm going to cover up where we tied in these legs. And for the legs you could also use any other legging material that you prefer. You could use some silly legs. I would suggest using the small ones or some life flex or any other material that you like and then just cover up a little bit more of this thorax and then I'm going to bring over the thorax cover right up to the bead and tie it down one turn then I'm going to bring over the flash or the tinsel as well one two three really tight turns and then I'm going to go right behind the bead, pull down really heavily on the thread, this is going to make everything secure, then you can hold these up, pull a little bit and cut the two off at the same time. And before doing anything else I'm going to take a brown marker and I'm going to color this white thread, this is going to make it just a little bit nicer so you don't have this white color and then push back any material that's going forward and make a three turn whip finish pull tight cut the thread away and then the last thing to do is to build up and secure the thorax cover with a little bit of UV resin and here I want this to go out on the bead as well then set it with the light and I'm just going to build this up a little bit more making like a little bubble here on the back and there we have it so you could tie this in a whole lot of different colors and sizes to imitate a whole range of different kinds of nymphs it could also represent stonefly nymphs if you tie it a little bit bigger and use different legging material but there we have the crystal nymph thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time and happy time